Hi friends, welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Kim and this is Star Budgets. I'm a zero-based budgeter seeking financial freedom for myself, my husband, our kids, and our grandson. And we would be honored if you would consider subscribing to follow us on our journey. Happy Friday, everybody. We are in our first weekend of December. Uh, it's only gonna get crazier from here on out. Um, I have to take my son to the doctor today for his yearly checkup. It's far, but it's not too far. The area that it's located at is as a shopping center. So it's busy year round, but at Christmas time, it's crazy. So I'm not looking forward to that, but got to take my son to get his checkup. Well, today I, I forgot about my year, in, uh, excuse me, month end tracker. Uh, I saw some videos of um, other budgeters posting theirs today and it reminded me and my husband is at work. He will be home probably about an hour and a half. And then we are going to go to the bank and get all the money out for his paycheck so I can do the paycheck stuffing. And I said, I need to do the tracker before I add any more money. So we're going to do the tracker real quick. And I did want to show you, um, I'm waiting on Amazon. I've been waiting on Amazon for three days now. I am so frustrated. I was on the phone with them numerous times yesterday because I had did a guaranteed overnight delivery and it didn't arrive and then it said it wasn't going to arrive till today and then this morning it showed that it had wasn't even out for delivery so I had to call them but I'm waiting on um scratch off sticker sheets so I can finish but I did want to show you that this is going to be um, one of the freebies so if you place an order with my Etsy shop this month, you will get this um, Mystery Scratch-Off Savings Challenge. And I have two other um, just regular A6 size um, tracker challenges that I will include as well. And then I will have this Mystery Savings Challenge on my Etsy shop uh, sometime later today. It's still not open yet because I'm waiting on the sticker sheets, but they will be here today. Um, and then I will open up my Etsy shop uh so I can, because I have this and my mystery project that I'm finally going to go ahead and show y'all. Um, even though it's not fully done, it's done. But this will be on my Etsy today. And the mystery project that I have been working on that I'm so excited, it's a 12 Days of Christmas Advent Calendar. It's a family mystery scratch-off edition. So starting on December 13th, there's going to be 12 scratch-off circles on the page. And December 13th, you will scratch any one of them off, just one. If you want to do more, you can do more, but you're going to run out of time before Christmas Eve. But there's 12 different fun family activities that you will do. So, and I'm not going to give you any hints about what's behind there, but there's just, they're fun. They're things that I can do with my kids. Um, pretty much everything shouldn't cost you any money. So it's 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 just fun, memory-making um, thing to do at Christmas time and it's a little scratch off with a twist. So, uh, the 12 days of Christmas advent calendar, I will have this listed on my Etsy, excuse me, Etsy shop today as well. I'm going to be doing my regular cash envelope stuffings tomorrow and I'm going to be picking the six winners for the, um, end of the month, November birthday month giveaways. And if you're watching this video, make sure you go to the live. Um, I did a poll and majority of you are saying uh, between 5 and 8 p.m. you would be available to watch it. So I think I'm going to do it sometime between 6 and 7 p.m. And I highly recommend you attend it. It's not going to be long. I'm not going to drag it out. But there might be a couple of extra giveaways in there for those of you that attend the live. Now let's get into the tracker, the sinking funds savings on all that tracker. So this is my daily binder, basically my wallet. And the only thing in here that I'm going to be um, counting is the emergency. So last month, I ended the month with 100, but my husband ended up using that for the sale at Under Armour and then his company Christmas party. So we had to start over, but now I have 10, 20, 30, and 40. So we have 40. And that's all in this binder. Oh, no. 
All right, this is my, basically my savings binder. And so car care, car maintenance. We started the month with zero and this money stays in the bank. So there's 50 in the bank right now. And then in health, we started with 10. Goodness gracious. And we are ending with 15. Home purchases. We started with 10 and we are ending with 15. And then in electronics, we started with 10 and we are ending with 25. And I thought there was only 20 in there for some reason. So that's, that's always good. Nothing in boat motor. We're not stuffing that till next year. And then in new car, we started with 10 and we're ending with 15. And then ha we haven't stuffed any of these yet, but these will start getting stuffed next year. And then in number search, we started with 18 and we ended the month with 25, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 29, and that's just putting the extra dollars at the end of each paycheck in there, so that's not bad. That's it for that binder. And then in the name birthday envelope, my, the name envelope birthday binder. So my daughter, Jordy, Jordan, she started the month with 15, and she has 25, 6, 7, and 8, 28. Is that right? Yes. Man, that's a lot already. And then I started the month with none because my birthday was the 9th, and then my son Jaren's birthday was the 10th. So I only added $1 to mine. And then Jaren got 15. I'm having trouble with these envelopes today. And then Brooks and my grandson Brooks and my son Jade, they will get their first uh, money added today when we get paid. So this is the letter box binder. So Jay Lee, and then all four kids have the same amount. So I'm only gonna count one and then their money is in their accounts at the bank. So we don't count the $2, 20, 45, and six. So they ended with 46 each and they started with 27, so that's good. I found a lot of J's and L's this month. And then Tristan and Jenna, my daughter and son-in-law, they started with 10 and they are ending with 15. And my niece Callie has the same. And that's for her graduation, which will be a year away this May. Let's just double check. Yes, 15. My grandson, Brooks. So he started the month with 41. And we actually, I didn't do my letter box stuffing last week. Uh, I didn't film it. I just went ahead and stuffed the letters, but I did complete his 52 week. Let me find it right here. So I completed his zero to one year, 52 week, a dollar a week savings. And I put that in an envelope and along with a letter from me and his puppy. And that is put away for whenever he turns 18, we will give him all 18 envelopes. So he is ending the month with zero, but that's because we are starting over. And then I don't count mine or my husband's. Christmas. So Christmas we started with 530. And what I did was because last month I had a Christmas envelope, stocking stuffers, Cyber Monday, and Black Friday envelopes. Um, but since I combined all of those, the last paycheck, I just added those amounts up and they came to 530. And then at the end of the month, 
we ended with 1,125 combined with all of those. But I have made a uh, purchases so um, I will be deducting that from this today and then in Christmas the 52 weeks for 2023 I started the month with 36 and I have 50 75 6 7 and 8 78 so I have 78 towards Christmas of next year already and then Christmas lights and Christmas decor we don't have anything in that that just gets spent and then the last binder in the penny challenge. So I started last month with $98.91. And then my son had a birthday and he got a bank. And the kids got a bank. He had he wanted um an LED bank. So he got a special bank for his birthday. But the kids all got a banks with their savings account. So me and my husband put all of our change together and split it between them. So I had to basically I started over last month. So I started with 98.91 and I ended with 30.47. So that's not bad for starting over. And then in manifest, so I started with $70. And this money is in the bank because I'm over 100. So I ended with 125. And then in monthly, that has already been reallocated. I do monthly and then Miss Tanya's. Um, at the end of each month, I reallocate that money. So, But I do document how much we did um, save during the month. So 55 was saved in monthly. And then in Show Me the Love, I just started this last month. So I started with zero. And I ended with 20, 35, 6, 7, 8, and 9. $39. That is awesome. Thank you guys so much for all your likes. And then all of these I started over or started last month. So they each started the month with zero. So I started the $1 challenge again. And I did condense this because it was getting too big. So I have 25. I have 25 ones in there and I did go ahead and condense it. And then in the $5 challenge, I have 5, 10, 15, and 20. And then in the $10 challenge, I have 10, 20, 30, and 40. And then in Star Notes, I... I had not been able to find star notes for for months. So then I did find one last week. I found a $5 star note. So yay. And I went ahead and add that, added that. So $5. And then in the 80s party, the Stacy's 80s, I started the month with zero and I ended with 25. And then in Miss Tanya's, I started the month with zero. I ended the month with zero, but I added 35. I saved 35 last month. And that is it. So let's add these up.
All right. So we started the month with $1,076.91. We ended the month with $1,959.47. So close to $2,000. So we were able to save $882.56 last month. That is so awesome. I, my goodness, I get thrilled every time we do this because... We've never been able to save money. We never tried to save money. That's Let's be honest here. We never tried. Um, we just spent and worried about it later. And wow, almost $2,000 saved. It, wow. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Please give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed, I'd be honored if you would consider doing so. And don't forget the live tomorrow to pick the six winners for the uh, giveaways. Y'all have a great day. Bye.